Chicago, sounding like you've never heard them before. Saturday in the park, I think it was the 4th of July. All right, I won't quit my day job. But I love the pop rock group Chicago. It's one of the most popular groups of the 70s, a virtual hit machine for 27 years. Their latest album is a tribute to the big band era. Chicago has just released its 22nd album. All you folks out there, please, my... Titled Night and Day Big Band, the disc is a departure from the Grammy-winning group's usual blend of pop rock. We're actually in the middle of an experiment. Night and Day is a fully orchestrated tribute to such 40s artists as Glenn Miller, Cole Porter, and Duke Ellington, but with a 90s twist and a liberal dash of Chicago's signature horns. When you play the CD, you recognize the songs, but you also recognize that it's Chicago. Mm -hmm. A great song is a great song, that's why they're still around 50 years later. But to uh, put it across to a new audience, we felt a need to uh, inject our own touch into it. A recent morning concert for a Los Angeles radio station found fans of all ages bopping to the beat of both big band and vintage Chicago tunes. They seem to like it, you know, but, you know, this hour of uh, the morning, I think they were just happy to <laughs> have anything happening up on stage. I mean, they were, sorry. they were appreciating the sound check. For members of Chicago, it's feedback from their fans that makes it all worthwhile. I know that we still enjoy playing music. It's still fun. And, you know, why not do something that you're having fun with? It, you know, and we're getting paid for it as well. I mean, it's a, it's a, a viable career. We love this thing. Like I said, let's keep it going. <laughs> And Chicago hits the concert trail July 12th.